What's up guys, Major Math with another video on fluid mechanics. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments, and if you're having trouble with other problems, I've attached my email in the description, so please feel free to reach out. Without further ado, let's get started. Question 3.76 says find the pressure at the center of pipe um, at A, this point right here. Uh, the temperature of all the liquids are, is 10 degrees Celsius. Oh, it only applies to water in this case, but um, usually our first step is to always write the goal right, but the question's so short, I'm not going to write it down. Um, also not going to write the givens, because everything's already written down, all our givens. 10 degrees is the temperature, um, and then it just writes everything on the diagram. Um, we need to be utilizing this formula. Uh, pressure 2 equals pressure 1 plus summation of everything going down um, specific weight of the liquid times the height of the liquid um, and then subtract the summation of everything going up with the specific weight of the liquid times the height um, so all this means all this equation is is here I'll number this so we're going from point one and then a Point, uh, point two is also equal to a. Okay, so we're just all we're, all this equation is is going from point one to point two. Um, point two, well, we can find the pressure at point two by doing this equation. So if we start at pressure one, and then do the specific weight, and then you add the specific weight times the height of this liquid, and then you add, and then you, when you go down again, you add the specific you add the specific weight times the height of this liquid, mercury in this case, and then you will subtract from this height to this height times the specific weight, and then you'll add it back down. So I'll show you how it uh, kind of works. Um, let's just look at this equation real quick. It makes I'm going to tell you why it makes sense, right? So all we're doing is trying to find the pressure from here to here, right? So it makes sense that you add when you go down because if you think like you just think about like a little container of water the farther you go down in that tank of water the more pressure right so that's why you add when you go down and then when you go up that's what you're subtracting because you're losing pressure so that's all it is uh, I'll show you guys how to do this formula um, let's rewrite this to be P2 is equal to PA um, and then we'll do P1 um, so let's look at this. So what are we going to be adding here? So if we start from this surface, I'm just going to say this. So since this, this surface is exposed to the atmosphere, we know that this is just zero, right? That's zero. Cause we're looking for gauge here. Every time it just says to find the pressure, it doesn't say absolute. We're just going to assume it wants the gauge. So we're looking for gauge here. It's exposed to the atmosphere. So it's zero that the, the pressure here is zero, um, zero units gauge right no pressure um, so we got to move down it says so if we're getting here to here we need to move down through water 90 centimeters um, so we know that is just equal if you divide it by 100 that's 0.9 meters and then the specific weight of water at 10 degrees Celsius is 9 8 10 newtons per meter cubed so we need to add that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and write this down so I have more space. So specific weight of water. Um, we have to go down again, but this time it's through mercury. So I forgot a step here. We need to find the specific weight of mercury, and we need to find the specific weight of oil here. So let's do that real quick. Um, oil specific weight of oil so we know the specific gravity formula is specific weight of a liquid with specific weight of water at 4 degrees Celsius which is just this number 
It's actually equivalent to what water is at 10 degrees Celsius, according to the textbook. So we rearrange this to say specific weight of the whatever liquid we're trying to find is equal to, or fluid, I should say fluid, um, is equal to this, right? So to find the specific weight of oil, O for oil, we do 9, 8, 10 newtons per meter cubed times the specific gravity that is given, 0 0.8. Um, and that gives us 7848 8 newtons per meter cubed. Specific weight of mercury, M for mercury, will be, again, that water at a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius. The specific weight of that is 9,810 newtons per meter cubed. Multiply that by the specific weight that's given, 13.6. And we get that that is about, rounding here a little bit, 1.33 times 10 to the fifth power newtons per meter cubed. Um, so now that we have those, we can continue on to our formula. Um, so we're supposed to do the... Looking at this formula, everything going down. So we're going down here. We just left off here. We need to go down a height of 0.6 meters. So 60 centimeters, we're going down, converting it to 0.6 meters. And then we need to multiply it by the specific weight of the mercury, because that's where we're in right now. Um, we just found that as 1.33 times 10 fifth right so we're at this point right here we just went down to this point um, using the planner interface rule or also called the the fluid interface rule same they're the same thing um, it says that you can move horizontally at the same level and you have the same pressure so you know the point at this pressure and the pressure at this point and at this point are equal, right? So using that, now we can move to this spot and not have to change the formula at all or anything. And then we just, um, now we're going up, right? Um, so we have 30 centimeters. So we have 180 centimeters to go up to, to get to this point. So we're going to subtract, because we're going up now, um, 1.8 meters, 108, or 180 centimeters, those are cool. I'm just doing meters, so all these units will cancel out. And then the specific weight, we're in oil now, um, we found that as 7,848. Uh, um, so now we're here, you can use that. Surface interface rule, or liquid interface, planet interface, something like that. And move it over to get here. Let me get that name again. The fluid interface rule. So the fluid interface rule says you can move horizontally um, between two points and have the same pressure. So we're here, move over here to this. Uh, and now we got to move down 150 centimeters to get to pressure at point A. Um, so we will, since we're going down, we're going to add, um, we're in water, so do 1.5 meters, 150 centimeters, times we're in water, so specific weight is this, and then if you put that in the calculator, you will get that PA, the pressure at point A will equal, plug that in your calculator, you get that the value is 89217.6 newtons per meter squared. Uh, we know newtons per meter squared is, is the same thing as pascals. Uh, if you want to convert that to kilopascals, uh, it'll be 8, just divide it by 1,000. So... 89.2 kilopascals.
Thanks for watching soldiers. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions leave it on the comments and if you need help with any other problems feel free to contact me with the email shown on the screen.